if percentage of profit made when an article is sold for rupees 78 is twice as when it is sold for rupees 69 the cost price of the article is so basically we have to find out the cost price of an article right what is the condition given to us that the percentage of profit the percentage of profit made when this article was sold for rupees 78 is twice when compared to uh, the selling price of 69 so there are two situations here one is when the article was sold for rupees 69 the other when the article was sold for rupees 78 he says the profit made here when it was sold for 78 is two times of the profit made when the article was sold for 69 which means if the profit made here is P, the profit made in this case will be 2P. Well, he's actually talking about percentage of profit. But the idea is if the percentage of profit is twice, then the absolute profit will also be twice. Yes or no? He says percentage of profit is twice, which means the actual profit is also twice. right? So if the profit made in this case is P, the profit made in this case would be 2P. Remember that these are selling prices. Selling price is equal to 69 in one case and the selling price is equal to 78 in the other case. Now, I don't know what method you guys have followed, but it's very easy and without having to put pen on paper, without putting pen on paper, you can just solve this in about 8 to 10 seconds maximum. All you need to understand is how would you break up 69 and 78, right? Look at this. See, since 69 is a selling price, can you say it is cost price plus profit? Yes. 78 is also the selling price, so I can say it is cost price plus profit, but this time the profit is 2p. This time the profit is 2p. Or it can be further expanded as C plus P plus P. You understand? So 69 rupees is cost price plus profit. 78 rupees is the same cost price plus profit plus one more profit. Same amount of profit because here the profit is 2P, right? I'm taking 2P as P plus P. Now we already know that C plus P is 69. Yes or no? So can I say 78 is equal to 69 plus P? 78 can be taken as 69 plus P. 69 plus P or 69 plus 9. 78 can be taken as 69 plus 9 because C plus P is 69 according to the first case. Now, if you break it up in this fashion, 78 equals to 69 plus 9, it comes out very clearly that the profit made is 9 rupees. The profit is 9 rupees and you're done. If profit is 9 and C plus P is 69, C should be 60. You're getting it? No need to put pen on paper in my view. I mean, I am putting all these steps here so that I can explain to you. But otherwise, it's very simple. 78 has been split as 69 plus 9 which gives us that profit is 9 rupees. I'll split 69 as 60 plus 9. 69 here is 60 plus 9. 60 is the cost price, 9 is the profit. Because see, profit will remain the same. Here P is 9, here also P will be 9. But here there are two P's. You're getting it? So basically this 69 rupees is like 60 rupees plus 9 rupees. That 78 rupees is 60 rupees plus 9 rupees plus another 9 rupees. So you can see that the profit here is 9, the profit here is 18, twice. The profit when it was sold for 78 is twice the profit when it was sold for 69. And in both the cases, we got 60 rupees as common, which is the cost price. So can we conclude that the cost price is 60 rupees? Yes. Please do not go by the length of the explanation or the number of steps that we have put on paper. All this is not needed in my view, right? It's very easy. You just have to look at the values. Understand it's all about difference. The difference between 78 and 69 is 9 rupees. It's actually that, right? Difference between 78 rupees and 69 rupees is 9 rupees. Which means I'm selling, when I'm selling the product for 78 rupees, I'm getting 9 rupees extra. Yes or no? 78 difference 69. This is another way of looking at it. 78 minus 69 is 9 rupees. So when I sell the product for 78 rupees, I'm making 9 rupees of extra profit. But that 9 rupees of extra profit is equivalent to my original profit. Because here the profit is becoming twice, right? It is like 2p. 2p is like p plus p. So the extra profit that I've made in the second case is actually P, which is 9 rupees. So original profit is 9 rupees. In this 69 rupees, 9 rupees is profit. So obviously remaining 60 rupees is the cost price. So 60 rupees is the answer. And, that's, and, and that completes the solution.